welcome back to counseling my mr bull with candace so we're gonna do another video so i know i miss the weekend i usually try to um post videos of the weekend however it was a very busy weekend for me so i want to surprise you and make a video for today since i have some energy somehow left from work <laughs> so this video is going to be about coping skill guys so we usually start with our check-in so our check-ins is what is your mood for today and my mood is i'm so shocked that i have some energy but since i do i'm here with you <laughs> so um i usually do dance moves to describe my mood so my dance moves are going to be it's like a um a little dance move from tiktok anyway so go ahead and let me know how you feel as long as it's positive and appropriate let me know in the comments guys so jumping right into it coping skills so coping skills going in depth i know i always mention like okay practice good coping skills so what are coping skills skills so i did a definition of coping which i really liked and it says to invest one's own conscious efforts to solve personal and interpersonal problems in order to master, minimize, and tolerate stress and conflict. So basically it's saying you're making the effort in yourself to um, resolve, master, or reduce the problems, right? And, and you're one of reducing the stress and the conflict that comes along with the situation right so I really love that definition um, and I just found it on Google um, but this is coming from the rest will be coming from positive psychology and it talks about coping skills and coping strategies so that's what is usually used as, as far as terminology um, when you're talking about coping in psychology right so it broke it down into different categories. So the first one we're gonna talk about is diversion. So when I'm thinking of diversion, I'm thinking of, you know, you're thinking about transforming, kind of like how, um, I'm thinking like, a, I can't describe it, but it's like a, the, the, the item that does like this and the liquid moves with it. <laughs> so that's what I think of when I'm thinking of diversion, right? So. Some of these things is like a like a distraction, right? So it can be that you're writing, that you're drawing, that you're painting. It can be that you're taking a shower, that you're taking a walk. It can be watching television. It can be shopping. It can be cleaning up your home or your car. Um, it can be taking a break or taking a vacation. So it's just like little moments where you are redirecting your mind, right? So the next category is socially. So it talks about some things you can do as far as socially, right? So you can talk to someone that you trust. You can set boundaries and say no. Guys, we talk about that um, in the setting boundaries video. I think that's what it's called. Setting Kelsey boundaries. Um, it's like one of my earlier videos, but we really go on some nice points. And we might have to do a part two because that is so you can never have well it's, it's 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 challenging to recognize healthy boundaries right um but there's so many and then you can write a note to a loved one to a friend to a family to yourself you can be assertive with others so knowing what you want being stern about it right um, not being afraid to speak up for yourself. You can use humor throughout your day. So for me, I have a really stressful job and I really have a long um, distance home and two there. So I have my humor, I have my music. Um, so you're finding positive things throughout your day, like humor. Um, spending time with friends and family and then doing your hobbies is all a part of it socially right because yeah this is stuff that you can do and interact with others but it can help you to cope cognitively so we're thinking of the mind here so um, you can take a class cooking class dance class um, school you can write your goals down so we're looking at short-term long-term goals um, 
ghost that you're just trying to plan or to try to manifest, right? You can pamper yourself with achievement. So for me, I celebrate every single thing. So I celebrate my grades, I celebrate graduation, I celebrate um, being done. <laughs> I celebrate every milestone, guys. Um, also, write down a list of your strengths um, so you can just know what you're good at. Um, and then that'll help you to identify the areas that you want to improve in, right? Um, and then that can help with your confidence, knowing that you have all these strengths that you possess within yourself, right? So then also, cognitively, you can accept the challenge. And um, with this challenge, it's going to allow you to see that you're going to get through the challenge, right? Um, just because the situation doesn't work out as planned, sometimes that means that it's just not a right fit. It doesn't mean that anything went wrong. It just means that it's just not a fit. Um, maybe potentially for you uh, and then we talk about spiritually so some spiritual things you can do is to pray if you are religious or spiritual you can meditate and then you can get involved in a good cause right um, we're going back to like boundaries so limit setting category we have drop some involvement so i know we all we want to please everyone we want to do everything we can we want to help but sometimes you have to just focus and narrow in on yourself so you want you may have to drop some involvement and that brings me to my next thing and prioritize drop some involvement and prioritize your tasks your goals um that you want to get done for yourself right um so yeah so maybe you can uh, let's say volunteer as much as you want to because you you are in school now right so you have to prioritize your school work or maybe you can um give so much of your time to your friends because you have so much time for homework and so much time for internship and so much time for your family that you may have to drop some of these events that you would usually attend. Um, and then scheduling time for yourself. So it may be a busy time for you, but you always want to make time for yourself. Like for me, making these videos is, is a moment when I'm having time for myself, right? Um, and I'm with you guys as my support and we're on this journey of love, wealth, and healing. Um, so it also mentions like, oh, tension, I, I almost missed this. So tension re releaser. So we have like exercise on here, yelling. I do this as well. So sometimes when you're having a challenging day, sometimes I would just get in my car and I would just yet let a yell out, <laughs> literally. Um, so yelling, um, as long as you're like in a closed space, no one's around you, you know, that wouldn't, that would suspect that you're in any danger, um, it's helpful guys. Um, using a punching bag to help with aggression and anger, um, crying and letting your emotions out rather than keeping them in and laughing. So some physical things that you can do, some coping is to make sure that you're getting enough sleep, eating healthy, um, and limit your caffeine intake. So it sounds like health things, right? But it really makes a big difference. Like when you're tired, you're irritable, right? That affects your mood. And when you're not eating healthy, your diet, it causes these health things. And, um, and you get hangry when you're hungry, right? So you want to eat appropriate things. Um, and taking care of yourself. And that's part of self-care. And then we're going to jump into oh, limiting caffeine. So that goes with the eating healthy and drinking healthy and drinking your water, right? So, so we talked about like some positive coping skills. So one thing I do want to point out is some negative ones. So negative ones can be using drugs or alcohol to compensate for how you feel. Um, not to say that you can't drink wine from time to time, right? But if you're using wine to compensate for your feelings, so 
it's, it's, it's looking like abuse or or um, it's just be causing an impairment in your life, then that's not a good idea, right? Um, Self-harming. So we have, I have experienced um, an internship. Um, a few people who would do things that, um, in their words, release their pain. It would give them a feeling of relief, but it wasn't necessarily, um, they wasn't recognizing it as self-harm, but it's still negative coping skill. You want to find a healthier way so um, to deal with your stress or conflict, right? Bottling up your feelings is another negative one because, um, oh, okay, we're 11 minutes. So bottling up your feelings is something that's negative. I'm not gonna go into it. Um, bottling up leads to an explosion, right? Um, taking sentences or stimulants, working too much, <laughs> and also avoiding, avoiding the problem and being in denial. So these are all unhealthy coping skills. So we want to stay with the healthy coping skills. And then if you do recognize that you do have some negative coping skills, let's use this video to give new ideas for you to deal with your stress and with your situation, guys. So thanks for watching. I'm going to wrap it up here. We're at 12 minutes, guys. I'll see you on the weekend, definitely for sure. And um, I'm not going to miss you this time. Like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. And I'm going to head over to Instagram, guys. See you.